after the Jags, the Titans, the Texans, and the Colts, it kind of feels like they're all in the same spot, right? The Texans definitely have the worst roster of the four, but the Titans are not in a good spot. Derrick Henry's not getting any younger. They really don't have any receivers on the outside ever since trading away A.J. Brown. Defense, the, the secondary is not very good. That front seven's good, but the secondary is not very good. And then Tannehill, as we know, I, I, we'll, we'll see what they end up doing with him, but not a guy that they're probably going to invest in long term. So the Colts are probably looking at that division, J-Rod, saying if we can get the quarterback position right, we can be right there with, with the Jags to try and compete for an AFC uh, South title. But I agree with you that they need to go young. Yeah, and when you look at the Jags, without getting too far ahead of it, the Jags, for the first time in a long time, they're going to be playing a first-place schedule next year. That mm -hmm. means the Chiefs. That means the Bills. That means the Bengals. You know, they are they are, are, are ripe for a letdown next year. So we'll see what happens. So I think if you're the Colts, you know you can make some hay. And if you're able to win when your own division, when, again, Tennessee and Houston aren't going to be competitive for a while – the Colts could really get well and get well fast. Meanwhile, while the Jaguars have to play with the big boys in the tall grass.